guys, so y'all are in for a treat today because I'm gonna be showing you guys how to properly shampoo hair. Now this is a picture of her hair in its natural state. Here she has a three to four week old silk press. So y'all are gonna watch her hair transform from straight to curly. The very first step in properly shampooing hair is to make sure that that hair is saturated thoroughly. You wanna make sure that you use a hot water, hot but comfortable of course, in order to break up the oil and dirt that is naturally accumulating in the hair as you live. If you have a lot of product in your hair like gel or curly product, you really want to be thorough with your saturation um, in the beginning of your shampoo to make sure that your hair is ready for your first lather of shampoos. Now this Design Essentials Oat Protein and Henna Shampoo is one of my faves. I cannot shampoo without it. It is very close to being like a clarifier without completely stripping the hair. So it's going to remove all of that oil, dirt, product from the hair. Now, here's the thing. Depending on how oily the hair is, you may have to use the oat protein and henna shampoo twice. Why? You want a good, clean foundation for you to apply your moisturizing shampoos, your color treatment shampoos. If the hair is still dirty and then you apply a moisturizing shampoo, you're not going to be able to absorb all of the moisture that you could from the shampoo. And that's not great for healthy hair, okay? So you can already see a difference between the first application of oat henna protein shampoo and the second application, right? We already got some suds, so we're in business. Now, of course, this clip is sped up, but I am shampooing her hair almost like a car wash. I'm going front to back, side to side, front to back, side to side. My clients fall asleep in the bowl when I use this method because it is so relaxing. And that is a way to ensure that you have cleansed every inch of her scalp and her hair. After you know that you've massaged it through two or three times, go ahead and rinse it with the same temperature hot water that you've been using, okay? Now, on her third shampoo, because we didn't get a good leather on her second, on her third shampoo, I am going to apply a peppermint and aloe shampoo on her scalp. And because we're doing another silk press today, I'm also gonna use the agave and lavender shampoo and conditioner by Design Essentials. Now I know that seems confusing, but what we did here was we applied the peppermint and aloe shampoo to her scalp only, as best as I could, of course. And then we applied the agave and lavender shampoo to the mid shaft to end. Why did I do that? Because I want her hair to get as much moisture as possible and all the benefits of the agave and lavender shampoo but I also want her scalp to be treated with the peppermint and aloe. This client has some issues with dandruff at times, so I apply the peppermint and aloe shampoo in addition to whatever kind of conditioner I'm gonna use based on her style. I normally let that sit two to three minutes, but of course I had to fast forward past that side. All right, now once we get her hair good and clean. Her scalp is feeling like a peppermint patty right now, baby. Now we are going to comb through her conditioner. The white coating that you see on her hair is the Agave and Lavender Conditioner by Design Essentials. It is the perfect conditioner for a silk press or a heat styling. So what I do is I start at the end of the hair. I can't stress that enough. Please start combing at the end of the hair. I am breaking her hair down into four to six sections. And once I have a manageable section, I comb from the ends up. So once I know that the ends are detangled, I move to the mid shaft. Once I know that the middle mid shaft of the hair is detangled, I then can comb from root to end. When you do not take your time, and comb the hair through root, excuse me, ends to root, you are creating damage. You are breaking those ends. It's just not healthy for the hair. Don't do it. 
It is also important to comb your conditioner through because if you turn your conditioner bottle around, the average conditioner says you should let that conditioner set three to five minutes. Go ahead and take advantage of the slippage that most conditioners give you and detangle the hair. This is a beautiful thick head of hair. I love her hair. Um, but if you use the conditioner to your full advantage, then when you get ready to blow dry, it won't be as much work because you detangled and combed through thoroughly in your conditioner. Now, here's my little secret. I always rinse my conditioner out in cool water. Yes, it's gonna be a shock to your scalp. Yes, it's going to be cold, but the amount of shine that you get because that cold water snaps that cuticle of the hair closed, sealing in the conditioner. You get so much more shine, so much more moisture locked into the hair. And this is me just thoroughly rinsing the hair to make sure we got all the conditioner out. In my opinion, shampooing and conditioning the hair is the most important part to any service. I don't care if you're getting braids, if you're getting a lace front, sew in, quick weave, rod set, you need to properly shampoo and condition the hair. If you are going to a stylist that is not shampooing and conditioning your hair, run, run the other way. They are cheating you. Now I'm gonna adjust my camera here. Y'all be patient, you know, I'm still trying to figure out the angles, girl. The angles is what we need. So I'm gonna adjust my camera but I am now going to take my towel and towel dry that hair to the best of my ability. Doing so will remove the excess moisture and water from the hair so your blow dry phase doesn't take as long. Cause that's what's next baby. We have shampooed, conditioned, detangled that hair and now it's time to get that blow dry work going. So make sure y'all watch that video next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful. If it is, make sure that you like, make sure that you share it out. And I know y'all have already subscribed, right? Thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a good day. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time.